Tonight, the Wyoming Cowboys, one of the hottest teams in the country, take on the Wolverines of Utah Valley, who are looking for some revenge after a big beatdown just three weeks ago. This one's going to be fun. You'll see it all next right here on the UVU Sports Network. Center in Orem, Utah, where tonight the Wolverines of Utah Valley look for a little revenge as they host the Cowboys of Wyoming. Hello again, everybody. I'm Jim McCullough, along with Matt Peterson. It's a grudge match. Back on November 30th, well, there's no way to sugarcoat it. Wyoming just crushed the uh, UVU Wolverines by 33 points. Matt, you've played enough college basketball to know does that matter at this point when they I, come here? Yeah, I think it does a little bit. I mean, you're always going to be remembering the games, and especially yeah. the game that was up in Laramie, and the Wolverines did not play their best basketball, and you've got to give all the credit in the world to Wyoming. So you can bet that this week of preparation that they've had, they're focused and they're going to be ready to play tonight. The Wolverines say they were tired from a long road trip. It was right after Thanksgiving. Well, there's lots of excuses, but to a man, they say tonight they won't lose by 33. So let's talk about some key players for tonight for both these teams, Matt. Yeah, we've got a look at some key players for the Wolverines. We've got Isaiah Williams, leading scorer on the team, averages 13.8 points per game. Holton Hunsaker, a sophomore guard, 97% from the free throw line. So Isaiah is going to have to provide some scoring for the Wolverines. Holton is going to have to provide some scoring as well, and he's very good when he can get to the free throw line. Yeah, all right, now for Wyoming, they've got a couple of guys, not necessarily the guards, who are the top shots. Yeah, I mean, we're going to look at Luke Martinez averaging 12.5 points per game and Francisco Cruz, who averages 11.6 points per game. You know, we've matched up these two guard lineups. You've got two guards for the for the Cowboys. You've got two guards for the Wolverines. We feel that these these four players are going to have a tremendous impact on the game tonight. You did talk about the guards. I thought you were going to talk about Leonard Washington, who just destroyed UVU. Yeah. He's not a guard. He plays inside. We'll see a lot of him. Tonight, yeah, he but. had a great game. I mean, everybody's going to have to contribute. You know, right. every key is every position is key in a game like this, and, and he did have a great game. So we'll see how he responds, and we'll see how the post players for the Wolverines respond. All right. So keys to victory for both these teams then. Yeah, very important for the Wolverines, their guards, as we said. They're going to have to step up their play. They're going to have to penetrate Wyoming's defense. You always need, in tough games, you always need easy baskets, and that can come from good guard play and getting to the basket. And they've got to play 40 minutes of intensity. They cannot let up or Wyoming's going to get back in the game. For Wyoming, they've got to create turnovers. They've got to shoot the ball well from behind the arc, and they've got to maintain their aggressive defense because when they held the Wolverines to 41 points in that first game, you know, you know that they were playing great defense. So those are the keys for both teams tonight. Yeah, Wyoming is one powerhouse when it comes to not allowing the opposition to score many points. I'm sure we'll talk more about that. We're going to take a break. Back with more Costa Vida pregame show. Your starting lineups and your opening tip coming your way right here on the UVU Sports Network. I'm Joe Luce, an anthropology student at UVU, and this is my classroom. At UVU, I'm sharpening my mind and my skills.
I'm Patty Garcia, a geology student at UVU, and this is Engaged Learning. At UVU, I'm learning by doing. Now you're looking live at the UCCU Center here in Orem, Utah's Wyoming and Utah Valley getting set to do. Wyoming won the first matchup between these two, 74-41. It was a 33-point win for the Cowboys at home. That was in the middle of a nine-game winning streak. In fact, Matt, they've had kind of a unique schedule, this Wyoming Cowboy team. Yeah, they're 12-2 overall, but they played 10 games at home. That really helps you get ready for conference play. Yeah, it definitely does, and they play in a very tough conference. And so I think it's going to be good for them to come on the road and get this type of a road test from the Wolverines. We know how well the Wolverines play at home. They're a much better team at home here at the UCCU Center than they are on the road. So I think it's important for both teams to get out early and both teams to get out to a fast and quick start. Yeah, we mentioned it before that break about what a powerhouse Wyoming is when it comes to playing defense, at least defensive scoring. They're number three in the nation in points allowed. Yeah, and that first game, they held the Wolverines to how many points? Uh, 41. Yeah, 41. I mean, they, you know, they, they are a great defensive team. It'll be interesting to see what adjustments the Wolverines have made from that first game. I would be hard-pressed to believe that Wyoming has made many adjustments because of the success that they had <laughs> and the success that they have had up to this point in the season. Yeah, what, so, do, you, what do you need to change yeah, when you win by 33? It, exactly, and what do you need to change when you, know, you hold all the teams that you play consistently to that low of points? So well, what, what are the Wolverines going to do to adjust to that because their bugaboo as of late has been scoring? Now, They'll need to make some adjustments to it. Now in Utah Valley's favor, let's talk about the Cowboys on the road. Out of their last 25 games on the road, they've only won two. They're two and 23 away from home. So maybe playing all those home games not that good after all. Yeah, you're definitely going to need to get some road experience and you're going to need to get uh, you know some early game experience on the road. All right, we're going to join UCCU PA announcer Eric Allen for tonight's starting lineups. First, the starting lineup for the visiting Wyoming Cowboys. A forward, number five, Leonard Washington. Another forward, number 25, Luke Martinez. At center, number 15, Adam Waddell. At guard, number 33, Francisco Cruz. And the other guard, number one, J.D. Luster. Head coach. Of Wyoming is Larry Shire with assistant Scott Duncan, Alan Edwards, and Jeremy Shire. coming in here off the loss in the championship game of the Dr. Pepper Classic in Chattanooga, Tennessee on Friday night. They lost that one by 15 points. Meanwhile, Wyoming comes in here off a very impressive victory over Idaho State, 80 to 56. <laughs> you never know what you're gonna see 
We can barely hear ourselves over here. Yeah, barely hear ourselves over here. We don't know what's going on. I need a ride like that. Dear Santa, everybody in attendance wants that bike right now. Isaiah Williams for Utah Valley, the returning All-American for the Wolverines, averaging just under 14 points a game. Holton Hunsaker at point guard, averaging just under eight points a game. Between them, they scored two points against Wyoming back on November 30th, and those were both free throws from Isaiah. Holton went scoreless. Between the two of them, they went 0 for 10 from the floor. Both those guards, as you pointed out before the break, have to play better tonight. Yeah, and they've got to get off to a quick start, not only offensively, but defensively. We're underway here in Orem, Utah. UVU controls the opening two. Wolverines and Cowboys. Great West Conference against the Mountain West Conference. Second time these two teams have ever paired up. Key Thompson over to Hunsaker. And looking inside early, Gettys with the dish off, bit air fires. A great play there from Gettys, a nice entry pass from Holden to get it inside. The man who was guarding Gettys gambled on the pass and an easy dump off there to Ben Aird for the layup. Ben Aird with a nice finish. Wyoming's first possession. That's Washington who just did so much damage up in Laramie. Cowboys working around for the three from Cruz. And Wolverines on the run now on the rebound. Gettys Robinson again to Ben Aaron stripped away. You know, Gettys Robinson usually does the damage inside. He's touched the ball twice, immediately looks for the feed. Well, both he and Ben Aaron are extremely good interior passers. So it's no surprise seeing them working inside, getting each other open and hitting each other when they are open. Isaiah Williams misses his first jumper. You know, defensively for the Wolverines, they're in a zone. And I think this is kind of going to try to mitigate as we see a nice turnover there for the Wolverines. But they're going to play this 2-3 zone. I came to practice yesterday, watched them prepare a little bit for it. So not surprised to see that because of the way that Wyoming attacked him in the game up in Laramie earlier. First turnover of the game by either team. A minute and a half gone here at the UCCU Center. Good air. Sophomore gives over to sophomore Holton Hunsaker. He'll put up the long jumper, missed it. Washington with the rebound. Washington had game high nine rebounds in that first game in Laramie between these two. Nice ball movement from Wyoming. Martinez misses. Wolverines with yet another rebound. You know, a couple early points here for the Wolverines on offense. They've done a good job of being patient, not forcing anything. Looks like see Isaiah come off of the screen there and Gettys the offensive rebound. You know, their energy is much different than we've seen these last couple games. And I, I really like what they've started off in this game, both offensively and forcing long three-point shots on the defensive end. But it's only 2-0, and Wyoming loves those low-scoring games. There's another speed that. from Gettys Robinson. Keith Thompson can't finish. Wyoming on the run. And Cruz gets the Cowboys on the board with two and a half minutes gone. Yeah, very nice finish there from Cruz. You know, there was a turnover essentially from the Wolverines on uh, Keith Thompson getting his shot blocked. So hard to get back in transition defense. Cruz took advantage of that. Holton did a nice job of getting back and trying to take the charge, but Cruz just elevated over top. Big Ben is allowed to grab side. It's four to two. They have yet to put Wyoming's two points up on the scoreboard. Now they finally do. So the official score now is four to two, UVU. Yeah, defensively in this two three zone, there's a couple things that you have to watch. Number one is you have to get out to the shooters. And we identified that in the pregame as number 33 Francisco Cruz and number 25 Luke Martinez. Both of them have taken three point shots so far. So the Wolverines have to make sure that they're always out on those players. Number two is they have to crash the defensive glass. You cannot give up easy rebounds off of three-point shots or second-chance opportunities. J.D. Lester misses a little floater inside. UVU you get another rebound. 
And look at this defense that uh, J.D. Luster is playing on Holden Hensaker. He's playing all the way out to the half court. Extremely good perimeter ball defender. Isaiah Williams has missed his first two shots. Got to wonder about the psyche of the returning All-American. Gettys Robinson takes his first shot. Oh! And scores. Yeah, Gettys Robinson has done that three times where he's gotten the ball. That time it was just a simple duck in. He saw that he had Leonard Washington pinned behind him, just ducked in, right head on the rim, and an easy turnaround jumper. Waddell misses the jumper from the baseline. It belongs to Utah Valley. Yeah, most of these shots from Wyoming coming from the perimeter. I think if you're Coach Hunsaker, you're saying to yourself, this is exactly what we want. This is why we're going to this zone, is so that they can force those long jump shots. The game at Wyoming was fairly close for a while. It was 13 to 10 Wyoming, and all of a sudden the Cowboys went on a 25 to 3 run and never looked back. Isaiah Williams. Thompson drives and charges. And that's where Wyoming is so dangerous. They work you down in the shot clock. They force you to take a bad shot. And a nice charge there from Washington. Time out on the floor. Wolverines lead it. Low scoring first half thus far, 6-2. to two. Wolverines by four. Play here of Keith Thompson getting the ball on the wing. The reason that he had to force that shot up is there was about six, five or six seconds left on the shot clock when he made his initial move. So once again, that's what Wyoming does. It, it, very evident that they're trying to put pressure out on the perimeter. They're trying to choke you off defensively and forcing the Wolverines into some bad shots. You know, Keith Thompson trying to make a play there, but it does get called for the offensive foul. Wolverines hit three of their first seven attempts. Wyoming one of five to start this one. 6-2 here. Wyoming third in the nation in scoring defense, allowing opponents an average of 51 points a game. In fact, nobody in Wyoming's 14 games has scored more than 58 points. That's an amazing stat. Cruz having a little trouble in there. Now the jumper from the corner is good for Martinez. Yeah, that's that number one point that we're talking about as we see Wyoming trying to apply a little bit of pressure. Seems like just a simple 1-2-2 two, two press. But you have to get out to shooters. Number 25, Luke Martinez, he can stroke it. And a late rotation there from Keith, and Martinez makes him pay. Isaiah with it. Stole it away. Luster gives off to Martinez. To Washington and two. Great initial play there. That was all caused by J.D. Luster and his pressure on Holden Hunsaker. I think that's going to be a very big key in this game. As we see Holden you know, trying to attack there, but I mean, we can watch that matchup. I mean, J.D. Luster is never more than one or two steps away from Holden on the defensive end. He does a great job of pressuring. And that can, that can wreak havoc on your offense because it's so hard for that guard to get the ball into its initial first, uh, you know, first play, first offense. Isaiah Williams trying to work it into Keith Thompson. Luke Martinez got a big leg in the way. Martinez, the team's best three-point shooter and free-throw shooter. 
plays with that left arm just wrapped from wrist to nearly the armpit. That's the way you used to play, right? Style. Absolutely. <laughs> if it's good, you got to look good while doing it, right? Uh, I need to see pictures, man. I need to see pictures. Wolverines down by one. Kevin Robinson. Backing in against Washington. Washington trying to drop the charge. Again, he's missed. Keith Thompson does something. Yeah, Wolverines have great success when Keith Thompson is active on the offensive glass. I love the aggressiveness of Gettys Robinson. I mean, he's taking it right at the Cowboys' interior players, and there's a long three-point shot there from Francisco Cruz. Miami now one of four from beyond the arc. UVU yet to attempt their first three-pointer. 10 to 8, Wyoming on top by two. Six and a half gone here in Oregon, Utah. Utah Valley's only lost one game on this court so far this season. Hunsaker forces up to three. Getting his Ooh, yo, get the For the foul. We're tied to two. Wolverines have to shore up this defense here. They've got to make sure they keep their eyes on number 25 and 33 because they're going to be active on the, you know, taking those outside, outside shots. Martinez, all of a sudden, three-pointers are just coming down. First matchup between these two, Wyoming went 6 of 24 from beyond the arc. Wolverines went 1 of 18. job of Ben Aird coming up very high and just a little bit higher than the three-point line there kind of setting just a little bit of a screen knocking the defender off and Isaiah just came off right in rhythm nothing but net Cruz I thought he was gonna go up again yeah he's looking to rhythm a shot here works it inside tried to dish off for Washington drew the foul that one's going to go against Ben Ayer. Ben's, Ben's had some trouble with fouls lately. Yeah, and especially there, when, when the zone gets so spread out, we're going to see the replay here of Cruz you know, driving in. You see Ben Ayer swipe there at the last moment. It's so hard, so tempting to do that. But what I was going to say is that when that zone, when you get some guys that can make some three-point shots, that zone just gets further. It, it just spreads out further and further. And your perimeter players have to go further and further out because their perimeter players are making these shots. So what that opens up is gaps in the zone defense. And I would look for number 10, Darius Gilmore, J.D. Luster. Some of the perimeter players who are not three-point shooters look, look to drive and look to get into those gaps on the zone and then look for opportunities to kick off or dish off because you know, that's exactly what Victor, uh, excuse me, Francisco Cruz did on that play. Both free throws down. Review with their first substitutions of the game. With almost eight minutes gone. I have also a couple of fresh players in the game. So Isaiah Williams moves the point guard. That's Kayami Enos. Now to Rory Fannin. Back to Isaiah. Hanging jumper from Isaiah Williams. Nope. Wyoming on the run. Coming back the other way. did not go up against Enos, but will take the three and bury it. That is their fourth three-pointer here in the first half. Four out of six. Uh, they're just getting wide open. You know, that was a, a nice job of Kiave getting back in transition defense, but the rest of the defense was just late rotation. The Wolverines never really got set. A couple easy perimeter passes between Cruz and Martinez and, and another three-pointer. Second effort. That's the transfer from Salt Lake Community College. Alfonso Hubbard is the only Wolverine of double figures in that first game up in Laramie. And 10 points. Ten and a half minutes to play, first half. Cruz. 
side. Finger roll missed by Nance. Larry Nance Jr. missed it. Wolverines come away with it. I think maybe Hubbard's been uh, circling this date on the calendar after that performance back on November 30th. Yeah, I think he's really been looking forward to this game. Miami misses the three that time. Martinez missed it. Isaiah does not. I love how the Wolverines play when they're out in transition. I mean, they get these you know, early shots from the Cowboys on that possession. They turn that into a transition opportunity. I, Wyoming never able to recover, and Isaiah makes him pay for a transition three. Inside, Waddell picks up the foul. That one's going to be against Corey. Timeout on the floor. 9.33, first half. It's a battle. Utah Valley right now by two. Welcome to Utah Valley University home to an educational philosophy that engages its students in hands-on, practical education. I invite you to learn more about one of Utah's largest, fastest growing, and most dynamic universities. Dawn is breaking at Utah Valley University. 33,000 students are descending on campus. What are they after? Knowledge? Opportunity? They might be pursuing an MBA, an automotive certificate, or a bachelor's degree in philosophy. But despite their different paths, they share a common understanding. Isaiah Williams spotting up in transition here. See a trailing Darius Gilmore never able to recover fully from the gamble in the backcourt on Geddes Robinson. Isaiah pulls up behind the three-point line and nails the jumper. Very nice possession there for the Wolverines and a nice job of converting in transition. A lot of folks might be confused. There's three different three-point lines in this facility. The men's line is the difference between the two stained woods where it goes from dark to light. That's the real three-point line for these guys. The one further out is the NBA three-point line. As the uh, Utah Flash, the developmental league, NBA developmental league team, used to call this facility home. Just a one-point game. Nine and a half to play until intermission. Waddell makes them both, ties us up. And the chess game continues. Ben aired in, Rory fanning out. Coach Larry Shia counters. The Cowboys are putting this pressure on. It seems more like just a little bit of a token pressure. What the Wolverines need to do is they need to look to attack. They can't, they can't lay back. They can't bring the ball up slow. That'll just play right into the hands of what Wyoming's trying to do in that defense. Keith Thompson, he thought he faked the shot. The official said he went off the ground. Yeah, I didn't think that his left foot went off the ground. I know that he pump faked. He did a nice job of pump faking and getting Leonard Washington up in the air, but I, I, I didn't see, I didn't think that his left foot left the ground, but yeah, they called it and therefore it's a travel. Two turnovers each between Wyoming and Utah Valley. Just under nine minutes to play, first half. Right where we started, all tied up. Nice move by Washington inside. Yeah, they're definitely going to look to get him involved. You know, a lot of times you, you think that when a team plays a zone, your interior players can't have an effect on the game. But that was a beautiful move there from Leonard Washington, was able to slip through. Looked like a double team coming down from Alfonso Hubbard, but a good finish. Hunsaker misses. Keith Thompson knocks it out of the hands from J.D. Luster. Wyoming basketball. Francisco Cruz has been the story here in the first half for Wyoming. Three of four shooting, including two three-pointers. He's got ten, only player in the game with double figures. Isaiah Williams has got six, leading score for Utah Valley. 
22-20. And you see this defense. I mean, it just keeps getting spread out, and it's so hard to recover on shooters when uh, when you do get that spread out. Wyoming's going to probe and be patient. Got a nice drive there. J.D. Lester, all five foot nine, went up and got a rebound off his own miss. You love to see that when the little guys can do that. Wow. Archer Buedo from France. 6'4", senior, nails the three-pointer. It's a 7-0 run right now for Wyoming. Yeah, and this is where the Wolverines got into trouble up in Laramie when Wyoming wow. starts these runs. You know, the Wolverines need to answer. They're going to need a, an offensive basket here. Keith Thompson can't do it. Wyoming with the rebound. That yeah, was a 25-3 run that just did the Wolverines in that first half. That time, a little miscommunication between Lester and Martinez. Brings us to another media timeout. 7.24 to play, first half. Wolverines down by five here at the UCCU Center. Think back to when you were a child. What did you dream of becoming as an adult? A pilot? A teacher? A nurse? Maybe a mathematician? A mechanic? Or a scientist? Now imagine a place where everyone is focused on your success. Imagine an education that is personal, engaging, fun, and professional. With an education from UVU, all of this becomes true. Utah Valley University. It's your dream. It's your university. Wyoming has hit seven of their last 11 shots. They're 50% now here in this first half. Their biggest lead of the first half at five. You know, Wyoming legitimately believes they have a good shot at the NCAA tournament this year. This is their best start since 1987. And based on what we saw up in Laramie, I would agree with it. Absolutely. They were dominant up there. You know, the, the question here, Jim, becomes how are the Wolverines going to get points? Because Wyoming has done a nice job defensively of pushing the Wolverines out. I mean, you notice this whole possession has been beyond the arc. Get it inside, yep. Nice job there. I mean, I, I think they're trying to do that. I think they're trying to post up certain players. We've seen Holton Hunsaker tried to post up. We've seen Isaiah try to try to post up. Gettys has gotten some baskets. And Alfonso Hubbard gets, a, gets an opportunity for two free throws here. You know, that, that possession was that perimeter four, four out, but they were trying to post Al Alfonso up, and he did a nice job of making himself available and, and finishing the play. Archer Guedo called for the foul. Free throw from Alfonso Hubbard, good. Came in here 61% free throw shooter. Junior transfer, originally from Gallup, New Mexico. Averaged 18 points and seven rebounds last year at Salt Lake Community College. Makes them both. That stopped that 7 0 run. That's what you were talking about, yeah. partner. Yeah, it's definitely a key possession, and they need to back up that good offensive possession with a good defensive possession. They were able to force a turnover last time on the air and pass, but they need a good quality stop here. Washington, I don't think he knows which strike was struck. Which, he took an NBA three. Yeah, and I think the Wolverines will live with that. I think they'll live <laughs> with him taking that long three-point shot. I think they're giving some opportunities for J.D. Luster. They're not guarding him as tight on the perimeter. So there are certain players where you'll, you'll give that shot. If he starts to make them, you make some adjustments. Wolverine basketball. 6.24 to play first half. Score's been tied four times and leads change hands five times. Much different than it was up in Laramie. Wyoming just ran away and hid. Home sweet home. Isaiah Williams 
eight points. Yeah, really nice ISO play there. They tried to flatten every other Wolverine player. Ben, ben Aird was up on the wing a little bit, but that was a clear isolation uh, play. Isaiah did a very nice job making a quick move and finished up over the defender. Cowboys by just one. J.D. Lester. Goes over to Guido. Senior from France. Now outside to Martinez. He missed. Well, Reed's trying to come down. Still UVU basketball. Yeah, nice job there of Geddes Robinson running the floor. He was the first Wolverine player. I think he beat the Wyoming players down. He did a nice job of, of getting down the court. However, he kind of, rather than going right underneath the rim, kind of came out above the block a little bit. Didn't quite get the position that he wanted. That one did go off Hensaker, turnover Wolverines. Yeah, those handoffs are so dangerous because you've got the defenders who know what's coming. When you have a perimeter guy, uh, excuse me, when you have a, a post player on the perimeter, you know that he's not going to you know, possibly make a move. He's going to hand that ball off. The defender knows that, able to swipe at the ball right off the leg of Holden Hunsaker. Cowboys by one. J.D. Lester wide open. And there you go. Just as I say that they maybe would allow him to take that shot. I still think that they've, the way that they've played him, they're more concerned with Francisco Cruz and Luke Martinez shooting those three-point shots. Lester only had three points against the Wolverines in the first matchup. Already got three tonight. Isaiah Williams is starting to light it up. Showing why he was an All-American last year. Yeah, he's so quick. When he gets that ball, he makes his decision. He's got such a quick release. He's not the tallest player, but when you have a quick release like that, you don't need that much space. Isaiah, just six foot one, senior from Chicago. Ben Air altered a shot just enough from Cruz. The Wolverines have possession. Looking to take the lead here. Alfonso. My goodness gracious. Yeah, he's got a great post-up game. He has the ability to post up smaller players. You can see his size. You can see the strength that he has in the post. That time just a quick left shoulder turn, shot right up and over the defender. Harper's just 6'4". Not shy about going in there. Inside, Wyoming back out in front. Yeah, those, those closeouts are so hard. When you have three-point shooters like Francisco Cruz, on that possession, you know, when, when the defender is closing out on him, you've got to be aware not only one that he's going to shoot the ball, but that he can drive it past you, and that's exactly what he did there. Gettys Robinson out to Ben Air for the jumper. Now, you got to wonder what the heck's going on when a 6'10 center is taking shots out there and burying them. He's very skilled. I mean, he has an incredible ability on the perimeter as a big guy. He can not only shoot that, he can dribble, he can create his own shot. And no surprise, no Washington. surprise seeing him make that shot. You know, no foul called. They're saying Washington stepped on the baseline before a potential foul. And that could have gone either way. Wolverines by one. Welcome to Utah Valley University, home to an educational philosophy that engages its students in hands-on, practical education. I invite you to learn more about one of Utah's largest, fastest growing, and most dynamic universities. Wyoming Cowboys right now Utah Valley has 31 
with three and change left in the first half. And a one point lead. Isaiah Williams right there, 11 points. He only had two against Wyoming at Laramie. Isaiah, by the way, nursing a sprained ankle Friday night or Thursday in the semifinal game of the Dr. Pepper Classic in Chattanooga. He sprained his ankle pretty badly. He needs to sprain it more often because he's playing oh, stop great. It. Stop it. Isn't it funny how you see that a lot of times? Players get injured in the last game. You don't think they're going to perform very well, and they come out like gangbusters. Ben Ayer, there's goaltending from Washington. Basket will count. 33-30. You know, let's go back to what we were just talking about, Jim. You know, you don't you said you don't see the big man shooting it outside that often. You don't see a play ran to post up, give an isolation play to your big man above the free throw line. That's exactly what happened. You know, Coach Hensaker knows that, that Ben is definitely skilled and can create his own shot and gets a basket there. Matthew, your insights never cease to amaze. Francisco Cruz. Kicks out. Martinez with the jumper for three. Cruz rebound. Back up. Missed it. UVU comes away with it. Alfonso Hubbard dishes off. Hunsaker. Corner for three. UVU now by six. Their biggest lead of the game. Hubbard intercepts that pass. Alfonso Hubbard. Uh, it's amazing to a lot of folks that he doesn't start more often. Shows you the, the depth that UVU has. And they're posting him up here. He's got J.D. Luster on him. Trying to work it over to get his Robinson. The Cowboys on the run now. Back and forth between Martinez and Cruz. Cruz with the finish. So tough there because you think you have the matchup that you want. That's exactly what the Wolverines wanted was a post up there for Alfonso Hubbard. They tried to pass it, tried to dish it off to a cutting Gettys Robinson in the middle and an unfortunate turnover. Utah Valley now with a four-point lead over Wyoming. Minute 24. So we send these two teams to the locker rooms. Yeah, and you see a lot of the Wolverines look, look, looking like they're pretty tired out there. They've got to finish off this half. A minute 24 left, as you said. They need to get some, some good shots. They don't need to rush anything. They're, they've got a nice rhythm going for them offensively here. Isaiah Williams working against Lester. Comes off the screen, forces up the shot. Wyoming comes away with it. J.D. Lester. Way out front again. All right, well, pick your line. Doesn't matter. Women's line, men's line, NBA line, they're going to put it up from outside. Yeah, isn't it incredible, Jim, when you when you look at defense? There, there's one player that you know you have to match up every single time defensively with against Wyoming and, and for the Wolverines. And in transition, they lose him. See, that, that was caused, I think, by a, a rushed shot there from Isaiah. I think he took a bad force shot. He wasn't able to get back in transition. But they had a nice push as we're going to see a replay here of Alfonso Hubbard with the dish off to Holden Hunsaker there in the corner as he hits that shot. But going back to what I was talking about is that you know, anytime you get those four shots and you have to get back in defense in a zone, it just puts you in scramble mode. And the Wolverines were not able to gather themselves. Francisco Cruz just walked into that three-point shot. And if there's one player that you have to match up with, it's him. You have to always know if you're playing a zone, you have to always know where he is. Francisco Cruz, 17 points, six of nine from the floor of his six made baskets, three of four beyond the arc. What a 17 second differential shot clock and game clock. And yeah, Wyoming's gone to his own here as well. Hunsaker lost the handle again. And now with the shot clock off, Wyoming can play for the last shot of this first half and the lead. They haven't led since it was 28-27. Yeah, 
are going to play for the last shot here. See what they try and do. See if they get it into Francisco Cruz's hand. And they're going to have to match up on him. Cruz to Washington. Nope. Shot blocked by Ben Aaron, I believe. Wow, that was a very entertaining first half. And it's a one-point differential. And, folks, Wyoming has only lost two games this season. They trailed at halftime in both of those losses. 36-35, UVU by one. Back with our halftime show coming up. experience at college isn't just found in the classroom. It's just as important to have a great experience away from the books. At Wolverine Crossing, we totally understand that. Take a look around. We offer an experience that helps you gain the most of what it means to learn and grow. Plus, you won't find better amenities anywhere else. If you're looking for student housing that will enhance your college experience, look no further. Wolverine Crossing. Student living redefined. Conveniently located just across the freeway from UVU. Think back to when you were a child. What did you dream of becoming as an adult? A pilot? A teacher? A nurse? Maybe a mathematician? A mechanic? Or a scientist? Now imagine a place where everyone is focused on your success. Imagine an education that is personal, engaging, fun, and professional. With an education from UVU, all of this becomes true. Utah Valley University. It's your dream. It's your university. Back at the UCCU Center in Orem, Utah, Jim McCullough along with Matt Peterson. That was a very entertaining first half, and what a difference the home court makes. Back in Laramie on November 30th, the Wolverines trailed at halftime 42 to 17. Yeah, I think they've done a much better job. They've had a lot of time to prepare for this game. You can see some of the adjustments that they've made. They've gone to playing that zone defense, which I think has, has caused some trouble. And I don't think that they've allowed Wyoming to go on those long runs. I think the longest that they had in the first half was that 7-0 run, and they were able to, to get back in the game after that. Yeah. Wyoming, a very established Division I program, looking to get into the NCAA tournament this year. You know, uh, Utah Valley, a lot of folks, they're a D1 program. It surprises them to hear that. Utah Valley hasn't been D1 too long. They're in the Great West Conference, but they're starting to make some noise. In the first semester of this year, Utah Valley has won five out of six conference championships already. Take a look. The 2011 Fall Sports at UVU had remarkable success, winning conference titles and setting the Wolverine Athletic Program up for another run at the Great West Conference Commissioner's Cup. The women's cross country team won its unprecedented fourth straight Great West Conference title. Chalice Walker finished second overall to lead UVU, while Ivy Gonzalez also earned first team all conference honors. Like the women, the men's cross country team has also taken its strong stance at the top of the Great West Conference. The Wolverine men clinched their third straight conference championship with Cliff Nielsen leading the way. Head coach Scott Houle earned both conference coach of the year awards. The soccer team continued its dominance of the Great West, winning the conference first ever outright league title and then going on to win the conference tournament UVU went 5-1 during the conference regular season and then upset a new school record for wins in a single season. Brent Anderson was named the Coach of the Year for the third consecutive year, with Natalie Young receiving both Offensive Player and Newcomer of the Year awards, and Lauren Sack receiving the Defensive Player of the Year award. 
The UVU men's golf team also had its most successful fall season ever. Mason Casper earned medalist honors, and the Wolverines won the battle in the Tetons in the fall opener. The team win was the school's first ever win over a full Division I field. UVU volleyball also set a new school record for wins in a single season. The Wolverines won their first conference regular season title. Sarah Clement was named the Great West Player of the Year. Brooklyn Campbell was tapped the Setter of the Year. And Coach Samatoa was awarded Coach of the Year. In total, UVU won five of the six Great West Conference Championships during the fall schedule, setting up what could be another banner year for Wolverine Athletics. Yeah, it's a pretty amazing atmosphere they've got going here in Orem, Utah. 33,000 students. This is the biggest public institution now in the state of Utah. And folks are going to know a lot about Utah Valley in the very near future. And by the way, no, they do not have a football team yet. We'll take a break. Back with more halftime. Wyoming trailing Utah Valley at half, 36-35. Come join the student section and cheer for the Mighty Wolverines. Mighty Athletic Wolverine League sports passes are now available. Your mall pass gets you tickets to every NCAA home game, free food at the tailgate parties, prizes at the games, and lots of new friends. Get more information on their Facebook page or by calling Campus Connection at 801-863-8797. Go UVU! If you're serious about going to college and getting a head start on the process, come get a feel for what university life is like. UVU Days are designed with you in mind. UVU Days are department-specific events held on Saturdays that will allow you to become a student for a day. These events are free and breakfast and lunch are served. For more information, dates, and times, please visit our website at www.uvu.edu forward slash future students. Come experience what UVU has to offer in your field of study. Well, I guess I really got green fever when, like, I found out how Utah Valley University can get me great education. Are you here for zombies? This is green fever. Zombies meets down the hall, room 1023. <laughs> Costa Vida was born on the beach, so the coast inspires how we prepare everything from our crisp salads to our irresistible burritos. And with more fresh sauces and salsas to choose from, meals at Costa Vida are truly a custom experience. Costa Vida, the coast is calling. Halftime at the UCCU Center, Utah Valley with a one point lead over Wyoming. They had a big uh, alumni reunion festival today. And uh, what you just saw mid-court, a lot of the old-time players. Guys, we even played with you, Matt, yep. back, back in... When, when did you finish here? Like uh, 2007. Oh, well, some yeah. of those guys are older than you, by it the way. It feels like 10 years ago. Yeah. It was only five, though. And one guy that's missing tonight is Ronnie Price, now playing for the Phoenix Suns, I believe. Yep, that's correct. Yeah, former Utah Jazz. Uh, it's been the Isaiah Williams and the Francisco Cruz show in this first half. Cruz with 17 points for Wyoming. Isaiah Williams, 11 points. Isaiah and Laramie, we talked about it before, only had two points, both of those free throws. Isaiah Williams, returning All-American, averaged just under 18 points a game last season. A little bit earlier, a couple days ago, I sat down with Isaiah, had a little chit-chat with the senior from Chicago. But now you're a senior on this team, All-America last year. Now the target's on your back. Got great shot there by Isaiah Williams to finish at the rim. Wolverines draw first blood, 2-0 UVU on the drive from Isaiah Williams, just named player of the year in the Great West Conference this week. Are you feeling more pressure now this year to perform? Um, a little. A little because last year is gone now. Do you feel like you're the leader of this team this year? Yeah, I feel that I'm I supposed to be the leader of the team. <laughs> Hopefully, I will be before the season ends. So what is the goal? Is the goal All-America again? 
for you personally? I want it to happen again, but if it don't, it just don't happen again. I don't care if I score two points, as long as we win, that's all that matters to me. So what are we talking about for Isaiah this year? What, what should we look for as the season wears on? I mean, we're early in the season right now. Uh, by the end of the year, are you looking at, I want to have double figures. Yeah, you want to win every game, but really, this is your last year in college, and you're trying to impress the folks on the next level, right? Yeah, I'm looking to play uh, point guard more this year, be a facilitator, and show everybody that I can play the point and the two. Well, yeah, statistically, last year you were the best shooter on the team, especially from beyond the arc. Isaiah win for three. Got him! As long as I make the right decision and hit my open shots that I'm, uh, I'm not going to have like I did last year, but I'll be fine. I think you'll be fine. Isaiah, good luck, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. Good to see you. I'm told I, I know how to do the rad handshake. Did you see that? Yeah, I saw I saw the action, not just the first, but you know, you finished it well. I, I'm rad. That, they tell, that, I don't even, I, unfortunately, I don't know what rad means. That was nice. Yeah, thanks. Isaiah Williams, 11 points in that first half. He took three three-pointers and made all three of them. Wolverines, four of six from three-point land. Uh, let's go over some stats before we take a look at the highlights or maybe just reverse that order. Your, your call, partner. Take it. What, what jumps out at you on the stat sheet here? Well, a couple things. We're going to see the stats. Wolverines, 15 of 26. They've shot the ball very well. They have six turnovers on the night. Uh, they've shot the three-point shot well as well. Um, Wyoming, 12 of 26, three-point percentage, 54 percent, and they've got three turnovers. Now, adding to that, this game's been about a couple things for me. Number one, Francisco Cruz, 17 points. The Wolverines have got to find an answer to try and contain, contain him somehow. Uh, another thing that I found very interesting, the Wolverines have six turnovers. Wyoming has 12 points off turnovers for the Wolverines. So every turnover that the Wolverines have had, Wyoming has converted, converted that into a basket. So you, you've got to be happy with only six turnovers the way that Wyoming plays defense. We've talked all about that, and we're going to start seeing some highlights here. But I, I think that Wolverines have got to sure up and not turn the ball over so often. And we're going to see a couple nice post plays here. Alfonso Hubbard with the nice finish. Here's another one of these turnovers that we talked about. Francisco Cruz is going to just finish that play off. So when the Wolverines do turn the ball over, they've got to get back in their transition defense. And as you said, Isaiah Williams has been stroking it tonight. I, I really like the play that Alfonso Hubbard's had coming off of the bench. I think he's come in and contributed and, and done a very nice job. You know, if Ben Aird can step back and make that jump shot, as, as we've seen, he's very tough to guard. Hubbard, a tough player, had 10 points in Laramie, eight tonight in the first half. Washington, just four points tonight in that game up at Laramie. Washington, he was he was the force. He was the beast, as they called him. Had uh, 16 points and nine rebounds in that first game. Yeah, and I think that he's come out. I think that Geddes Robinson has taken the challenge because, you know, Geddes played in that game. Leonard Washington had a great game. He's come out with a chip on his shoulder and played very well tonight. Lead change hands eight times. We're expecting the same type of action in the second half. Wolverines with a one-point lead. We'll be back with your second half coming up here on the UVU Sports Network. Welcome to Utah Valley University, home to an educational philosophy that engages its students in hands-on, practical education. I invite you to learn more about one of Utah's largest, fastest growing, and most dynamic universities.
join the student section and cheer for the Mighty Wolverines. Mighty Athletic Wolverine League sports passes are now available. Your mall pass gets you tickets to every NCAA home game, free food at the tailgate parties, prizes at the games, and lots of new friends. Get more information on their Facebook page or by calling Campus Connection at 801-863-8797. Go UVU! If you joined us late, you missed a whale of a first half of college basketball here at the UCCU Center in Orem, Utah. Utah Valley University with a one-point lead over the Wyoming Cowboys. We're set to begin the second half. Utah Valley 7-9 overall, Wyoming 12-2. But of course, the interesting stat, Wyoming just 2-2 two two away from home, and the Wolverines 6-1 here at the UCCU Center. Wyoming almost turning the ball over on their first possession here in the second half. It's Martinez. Out to Cruz. He had 17 in the first half. Washington steps on the baseline again. That's twice now. You've seen collisions between Ben Aaron and Washington, and Washington ends up stepping on the baseline. Yeah, he's trying to get around the defenders. He's trying to go baseline. He's trying to make a quick move. He does have quickness, but you know, great job of defense earlier by Geddes Robinson in the first half and Ben Aaron there not allowing him, not giving him the defense, uh, giving him the baseline side. Colton Hunsaker, three points in the first half. Look at that sky of a rebound by Dean Thompson. His fourth point of the night. Yeah, I, I said it earlier in the game, the Wolverines are so good when they can get Keith Thompson crashing the offensive glass. A long three-point shot from Isaiah means a long, tall rebound, and definitely Keith Thompson skied in there for the rebound. J.D. Lester counters back the other way with a three. We're tied at 38. Now we'll have to see what defensive adjustments the Wolverines are going to make to the zone because it's clear watching this game they've given up a lot of wide open three point shots. I don't know if it's been, I think it's been a combination of defensive breakdowns uh, and, and maybe a little bit what I said earlier of allowing some players to shoot those threes. Wyoming 8 of 14 beyond the arc. UVU just 4 of 7. And Isaiah's made three of those four. Hanging jumper, no good. Geddes Robinson back up. Wyoming with the rebound. It was an adventure for a rebound. Wyoming looking to take their first lead since it was 30-29. Wide open inside. Keith Thompson thought he had a shot at a block, but instead Waddell 6'10", senior from Cody, Wyoming, puts that one in. Yeah, really nice pass there from Leonard Washington. Waddell got the finish. And there was a nice play from Washington on the baseline side. He did a, he did a pump fake, got Ben aired up in the air. Keith Thompson was laid on the rotation to the weak side, and Waddell was able to, to finish. It was just a late defensive rotation there from Keith Thompson on the weak side. Free throws miss, so it's just a two-point lead for the Cowboys. Thompson forcing it in traffic. Foul probably on Cruz. Two-shot foul. The one stat we don't see too often is we're going to get a, a nice post up here from Keith Thompson. He made a pretty good quick move. I think that it's been a game plan for the Wolverines to post up certain players. But this is only going to be, according to what I, I remember, the only, only the third free throw from the Wolverines. We don't often see that. We played. You know, we're almost three minutes into the second half, and that's just their their third free throw. You know, give credit to Wyoming playing good defense and not fouling, but uh, Wolverines maybe can look to be a little bit more aggressive, trying to draw some fouls, get those easy points at the free throw line. Thompson makes the front end of two, as well as the back end. We're tied again at 40. Yeah, look at this. Uh, I can hear Coach Sensaker yelling. I was going to make the point. Short corner has been a, a nice spot for the, for Wyoming so far against this zone. They've got some plays, players open in the short corner. Out front, Martinez. 
Hunsaker tracks it in. What the heck is short corner? Short corner is just kind of the, the baseline, probably about the middle. All right. Pete Thompson and another goal 10 on Leonard Washington. Washington, the transfer from Southern Cal, showing he can jump. Pete Thompson, we already know he can jump. But Leonard Washington with the goal 10, so two points for Keith Thompson. Yeah, I stopped my explanation there as we see Keith going back up to the rim and, and the block. So what the short corner is, is it's pretty much the middle point between the block and the three-point line. So just in that in that dead area along the baseline, that's the short corner where Wyoming's look to get look to get some open players where Nance Jr. is over there in the corner. Turnaround jumper from Cruz is good. Cruz with 19 points. We're tied again, this time at 42. I think it's fair to say he knows how to play against his own defense. Because not only can he hit the three, he's able to find open spots. He's able to cut to the middle like he did on that play. He's able to drive from the perimeter. He's a very good player against the zone. Three and a half minutes deep into the second half. Ben Aaron, he'll take that shot from out there. We found that out. Keith Thompson trying to go around Cruz, gives off to Ben. Airballed at that time. Wyoming. J.D. Lester. Over to Martinez. See, that short corner is right where number 15, Adam Waddell, is. That's the short corner. That's where he's looking to, to, to get some points. And that time, Keith Thompson picks up another foul on the reach in. Just under 16 minutes to play here in this game. We're tied at 42. Valley University. Your life, your beat, your university. We get the replay here of a foul on Keith Thompson. Looks like he does get some ball, but I think the referees called it after he did get the ball. He got him on the wrist. It's, it's so key when you challenge three-point shooters on the perimeter that you don't do what Keith did at the very last moment, and that's bring your hand down at an angle. What you have to do is make sure that you maintain vertical shot pressure so much harder to shoot over the top of a vertical hand and you don't risk you don't risk fouling the opponent as Keith did there. He would have been just fine if he would have he would have gone just vertical to that shot. You're gonna be a coach, aren't you? Well, I don't know. <laughs> oh, <stop. laughs> I, I love stop. learning the uh, the little points of the game and that that right there is a little point of the game. I mean when I when I played for Coach Hunsaker he would always talk about these things and so I definitely learned a lot about the game from him. Third personal foul on Keith Thompson. He stays out there. He's the only player in the game with more than one foul. Trust me, I've fouled like that before, and I was, went immediately to the bench. So I, I learned that uh, that lesson immediately. Martinez. I think it's important here on the offensive end for the Wolverines to get a good quality shot. You've seen the defense of Wyoming start to you know, start to take it, take effect really here in the second half. Looks like they're going more to a 2-3 zone, kind of doing what the Wolverines have done. Thompson dishes off. We'll get it to Ben Air, trying to force it into Keith Thompson who goes off Wyoming. 
14 seconds left on the shot clock. They've got to worry about getting the ball in and, and getting into their offense quickly because, as, as we've said, Wyoming's a very good defensive team, and you can see them starting to have a really big effect on the game. Here Thompson. Cannot get it to go. Wyoming with a rebound. Larry Nance Jr. pulled that one down. His dad played in the NBA for quite some time. Had a stellar career. Coming up on 15 minutes left in this one. Wyoming by three. Ten lead changes already. Three-pointer, Martinez. He's got 12 points. Yeah, really good offensive play there from Wyoming. They did a nice job of overloading one side. Now, all the attention went to Victor Cruz, kind of at the extended free throw line, and Martinez was just sitting wide open in the corner. Hunsaker floater won't go. Ben Air fighting for the rebound. It will be UVU's basketball. We talked in the pregame show about Wyoming's propensity for runs. So far in this game, their biggest run has been 8 0, and that's what they're on right now. Yeah, and, and Wolverines have to stop. I mean, they've got to do something. You've got to get Isaiah involved here. There you go. That's what you have to have. If Wyoming goes on a run, which you know they're going to do, you have to somehow get it some type of defensive stop, but then you've got to get some offensive scores, and you go to your hot player, Isaiah Williams. There's turnover. The, there's the turnover. That's exactly what you want when you get an easy basket. Get that turnover and get going the other way. Turn the momentum in your favor. And the Wolverines do the favor right back. Exactly. Five turnovers for Wyoming. UVU now is seven. It's a fairly cleanly played game. Not a whole lot of fouls. Knock on wood of any shade. Inside. Uh, jinx. Call that one on me, okay? Ben Air with the personal, his second. Yeah, a lot of opportunities for post players in the zone as we see a nice move here from Adam Waddell. So much attention is paid when perimeter players or when three-point shooters go out to the perimeter. There's a lot of opportunities for duck-ins, for flashes, and for simple post-ups. And that was what happened. The Wolverines kind of got sucked out. Ben Air got stuck behind Waddell in the post. What a nice entry pass inside and a trip to the free throw line. Waddell now three of four from the free throw line in this game. Got five points overall. Cruz with 19, Martinez with 12. They're the two players in double figures for Wyoming. For UVU, Isaiah Williams with 13. And a couple, and three guys with eight. Keith Thompson, Ben Aaron, and Alfonso Hubbard. Six-point lead for Wyoming. This is their biggest lead. Yeah, and they're falling back into this zone. I mean, this is what looks like maybe an adjustment that they're going to be making. Fall into this zone. Let's see how the Wolverines attack it. You know, they're going to be prepared for it. How are, how are they going to attack this? Three. Holton Hunsaker, one of three from beyond the arc. Just three points tonight overall. Follow on the miss from Larry Nance Jr. And a timeout is called. Fifty-two to forty-four. Wyoming's biggest lead of the game, and it's just eight. See a nice middle game jump shot there from Francisco Cruz and Skyen in for the rebound. Larry Nance Jr. So hard on those shots when you get that low perimeter player on the zone spread out to cover that shot. It leaves that, that rebounding lane wide open and a nice job of crashing the offensive glass. Nance, a 6'7 freshman from Richfield, Ohio. Got a, got a lot of points in his future, I believe, coming up for the Wyoming Cowboys. Good looking young man. Wyoming right now, 52% shooting from the floor. Utah Valley, 48%. We mentioned it about 10 times in the first half and in the pregame show, but so far this season, Wyoming has not allowed any opponent to score more than 58 points. 
Utah Valley right now sitting at the 44 mark with 13-13 to play. Francisco Cruz, though, has done the damage tonight. 19 points, 3 of 4 from the arc, 7 of 11 shooting overall. Two free throws, two rebounds, two assists. What a game from Cruz, senior out of Mexico. He was one of your key players in the pregame show, wasn't he? Yep, he was definitely one of the key players. The question now becomes, Jim, where are the Wolverines going to go for offense? They cannot get lackadaisical. They have to continue to attack. They've got to be aggressive against the zone. Well, Ben Air trying to get aggressive inside, working against Washington. That is Leonard Washington being called for his first personal. Despite all that contact between Ben Air and Washington, that's the first foul yeah. between the two. Ben Air's fouls have come against uh, other players who've been driving into the lane. Yeah, and that was a, a play that was drawn up in that timeout to get the ball inside to Ben Aaron against the zone. They kind of did a decoy of trying to get Isaiah Williams in the corner. It's uh, pretty tight in there, but Ben does a nice job of collecting the ball and going up for the shot. Got him on the arm. Big Ben, a six foot ten sophomore from Battlefield, Utah. Averaging 8.8 .8 a game. Got nine tonight. Six point lead for Wyoming. That's a good possession here for the Wolverines. Six seconds, they cannot foul on any type of shot. Cruz winding his way through traffic, finds the seam, lays it up and in. That's so disheartening when you play that well on defense and then you have a player who can take a screen well beyond the three-point line and drive all the way to the rim for a nice finish on the left with the left hand. Cruz with 21 points. 12 minutes left in this one. Wyoming by eight. Inside, Gettys Robinson, another Wyoming foul. That was going to get called against Larry Nance Jr. His first, team's third. Time out on the floor. Wolverines down by eight. Valley University. Your life, your beat, your university. See Gettys Robinson getting the ball in that short corner that we've talked about. Nice job there of quickly swinging the ball through and squaring up his shoulders to the basket. So hard to defend that when you've got a, a player like Getty so strong going to the rim. Gettys Robinson came in here averaging a double-double. Ten and a half points, 10.3 rebounds. He's 18th in the nation in rebounding at 10.3 a game. He's got eight so far tonight to go along with just four points. This will be his first trip to the charity strike. Wolverines down by eight, make it seven. Gettys Robinson, senior. From the Bronx. He knew that one as soon as I left his hand. And they're going to give that one to. I think they're going to make a debate. correction. Yeah, they're going to make a correction. Outside official overruled that. Hey, sometimes you can tell which official has seniority. Yep. 
you know, this is a, an important possession. I, I, I say every, you know, it seems like every possession is an important possession, but with the way Wyoming's playing defense, Wolverines have struggled offensively here in the second half. And they need to get some easy baskets. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look to Isaiah Williams and I'm going to look to Ben Eyre because those are the two offensive players on the court that the Wolverines can go to in this situation. Alfonso Hubbard back into the game for UVU as well. He had eight points in the first half. Okay, Avi Enos with it. Over to Keith Thompson. Into the lane. Almost a slam dunk. I'm not sure exactly what you call that, but well, it's two points. It's one of those where you, you're almost so high that you just throw it in, it looked like. I mean, a nice drive there. So aggressive, just penetrating the zone. No chance for a recovery, no chance for a block shot. Well, and back the other way comes the senior, Adam Waddell, saying, look, this is how you do a dunk, pal. 56-49. Yeah, what a thunderous dunk that was. Just off of the penetration. One simple step. I don't even think you put that ball on the floor. No chance for defending that. Eight turnovers for the Wolverines now. Waddell. Keith Thompson with the rebound. Kay Ivey. Enos misses the three. Kept alive by Hubbard, but Wyoming pulls it down. Yeah, good opportunity there for the Wolverines. A, a nice shot from Kiave. He's, he's a good three-point shooter. And that was a good shot. The Wolverines need to pick up this tempo. When they get stuck in that half court, they're, they're really struggling. Inside to Washington. Nice move. The nine-point lead is the largest by either team. And that causes a quick little 30 second timeout to be called. Just under 10 minutes to play here in this game. 58-49. Back and forth they have gone. 11 lead changes. Seven times this game has been tied. So much different from the first time these two met in Laramie where Wyoming just dominated in every category, especially the score, winning that one 74-41. Isaiah Williams tonight, just two points in the second half, 13 overall, 5 of 11 from the floor. You got to wonder uh, about that sprained ankle that he had on Thursday and hardly could play Friday night, to be honest with you. As that was UVU President Matt Holland, by the way. We've seen him a couple of times tonight. Well, we're going to see the replay here. You see Ben Aird forced to come up and defend on Leonard Washington. And a beautiful pass into Adam Waddell. You, know, you, you got a feel for Alfonso Hubbard on that one because he was the player who had to rotate from the other side and just never got there in time. He didn't have a chance to get there in time. And uh, that's, what, that's what happens when you can get that ball in the middle at the free throw line against a zone defense. Your options just increase. Rory Fannin in the lineup for the Wolverines. 6'10", senior from New Zealand. Doesn't get a lot of playing time, about eight minutes a game. Now you see how spread, or how far out and spread out, I guess, the, the Wolverine offense has been against this zone. And there's eight seconds left. Alley-oop attempt. Washington undercut. Key Thompson is the call, and Washington disagrees with that. Yeah, definitely a, a, a lob play that was called. Coach, trying, trying to get that easy basket. Coach Dick Hunsaker in his 10th season. Isaiah for three. Bottom. A nice screen set there from Rory. He came out and set a pretty good tough screen. Very hard for J.D. Luster to recover from that. And that was an, a, a big shot, a very, very timely shot for Isaiah. Cruz brings it out of the corner, gives it back over to Martinez. He'll take a three. Yeah. Luke Martinez, 6'4", redshirt junior from Bismarck, North Dakota. He is the team's best three-point shooter. Yeah, 
what Wyoming has done offensively a couple times is they've come up and they've set a screen, a high screen on the ball to try and free a couple of their players. That's what they did there for Martinez, and he finished. Isaiah can't get it to go. Goes off Wyoming, UVU basketball. Hubbard checks out. Gettys Robinson back in for Utah Valley. Ben Aird will come in. Rory Fanner will take a seat. Eight and a half minutes left. It's a nine point lead for Wyoming. Hunsaker out to Keith Thompson. Wide open three. Yeah, nice job there of Holton Hunsaker. Once again, saw that lane at the top of the key, was able to penetrate a nice dish out. You know, this is a six point game, Jim. A little about eight minutes left. The Wolverines have got to do something to stop the three point shots that are coming from Cruz and Martinez. Washington working inside. Do you drag a foot? I think they're going to get Ben Aired for a foul. Ben Aired picks up foul number three. Not good news for Wolverine fans. Just under eight to play. Wolverines down by six. Dawn is breaking at Utah Valley University. 33,000 students are descending on campus. What are they after? Knowledge? Opportunity? They might be pursuing an MBA, an automotive certificate, or a bachelor's degree in philosophy. But despite their different paths, they share a common understanding. Welcome to Utah Valley University, home to an educational philosophy that engages its students in hands-on, practical education. I invite you to learn more about one of Utah's largest, fastest growing, and most dynamic universities. as they are Francisco Cruz with 21 he leads their scoring attack it's a six point lead for Wyoming <laughs> Martinez misses the jumper Wolverines with possession down by six Wolverines catch a break there Martinez wide open in the corner on the out of bounds play short corner I don't I have little, little I, extended. That, that I don't was know a little what talking about. That was okay. a little deeper. Hey, everything's short to me. Isaiah, a long three. Gettys Robinson with a rebound on the miss. See, it's a good shot. I mean, Isaiah's, Isaiah has that range, but I want to see something go into the rim. Keith Thompson hit the three on the previous possession. Just a tad bit shorter yeah, now. It's so easy to settle for that. I mean, because you have those shots, it's so easy to settle. And if it's a good shot, great, take it. But if you can get some baskets like they've had on the last couple of possessions where they're going to the rim, that's so much more advantageous. Rondell uh, almost losing the handle. Seven minutes to go. Luster misses the three. Gettys Robinson pulls down his tenth rebound. Wolverines still down by six. Yeah, looks like they're going to settle themselves and run a play here. See who they look to go to. Oh, my. Hansaker with a uh, karate chop to Luke Martinez. Ouch, that, that sort of hurts. 
Yeah, I think, yeah, I don't know if Holton meant to elbow him in the face. He definitely lost the ball. He wasn't looking at him. I think he was just going to try and keep the defender off of him. But well, clearly, clearly, clearly elbowed him right, right in the face, definitely. Martinez stays in the game. Uh, and the officials are huddled up near midcourt talking about uh, something. Kunzinger just looking on patiently. Yeah, I think the referee came over and said it was a hand, but we clearly saw that it was an elbow. And one thing that we haven't mentioned here tonight, I'll briefly mention it, Kevin Woods hasn't been able to play in this game. Uh, he normally comes in and provides the Wolverines with a lot of good minutes. Sad to see that he's not, not been able to play tonight. Leonard Washington. Eight points for the redshirt junior out of Lake Charles, Louisiana. Side, Hunsaker hits the deck hard. Foul going to be called against J.D. Luster of Wyoming. Holton Hunsaker at the line. This is not the guy you want to foul and put at the line. Wow, not much of a foul, but either way, Holton Hunsaker, one of the best free throw shooters in the nation. He's missed one this season. He's working on 33 straight. Make it 34. And that's the type of possession that we've been begging for. You know, don't settle for those long three-point shots. Be aggressive. I think Wyoming switched up their defense that time, went into a man. Holton saw that, saw a lane, and was able to turn the corner. That, that's what we want to see. The Wolverines need to be very aggressive, oh. need to continue going to the rim as we uh, just about jinxed Holton. The streak is 35, and maybe we shouldn't bring that up again. 63-57, six-point game with six and change left. Yeah, the Wolverines need to have players besides Cruz and Martinez beat them in the last six minutes here. Washington, a little double team. Alfonso steals it away. Hubbard, lead pass to Hunsaker. Hunsaker has it stripped by Luster. Here come the Cowboys back the other way. Cruz, jumper. No. Ben Air clears the boards. Yeah, can't have those turnovers in transition. They've got an opportunity here. Yeah, you just Wolverines have to be careful. They cannot have. I love it when they get out and run. It creates so many opportunities for them. But they cannot turn the basketball over because that is when Wyoming is going to look to turn the corner and to convert. We talked about how many points they have off of turnovers in this game. Well, they're very good at, at getting those stops, getting those turnovers, and getting points out of them. And they, they've gone back to his own defense here. See how they've got their hands out so wide. The Wolverines need to, to be aggressive. It looks like they are tired, but they've got to continue to be aggressive. Isaiah Williams blocked by Waddell. But a foul is going to be called. Put Isaiah Williams at the free throw line. See Isaiah once again, there's that short corner opportunity. It's not only for the big guys, you can get some guards down there as well. And it's easy when you get that. So hard for the big man who's the center to recover over. And Isaiah just took one dribble, and perimeter player was forced to come down, and he was the one that got called for the foul. Yeah, that foul being called on Adam Waddell, his first, team's sixth. Isaiah Williams, 80% free throw shooter on the season, got them both. Four point game. Yeah, Wolverines have done a great job climbing back into this. Let's see what Wyoming does. They've kind of had a little bit of a low hill offensively. They had a basket not too long ago from Leonard Washington, to out, who is now out of the game. Good hustle defense there. Got to get up and recover. Five minutes. Martinez <laughs> cannot get it to go. Huntsaker fouled at midcourt by J.D. Lester. I believe that's going to put the Wolverines at the bonus. Holton's going to the line. Seventh team foul, third personal on J.D. Lester. Lester did, it was certainly not intentional. He was trying to get out of the way. Yeah, he tried to hop over. It looks like he was you know, definitely moving his feet trying to get over. And Holton just read where he was going and was able to, to meet him there and gets to the line. Five straight points for the Wolverines now. 
off on the free throw line. And it seems like since we talked about the aggressiveness that they needed to have, they've done that. They've been more aggressive. They didn't settle. You know, Isaiah took that long three-point shot. Keith took that long three-point shot. And Wyoming was off and running the other way. And now that they, well, they, can, they can remain aggressive. Two-point game here. On these shots that Wyoming's taking, they've got long athletic guys that can go for the offensive rebound. It's got to be a team effort defensively in crashing the glass. Wyoming, good ball movement. And Luster nails the three. Yeah, he's had some really big three-point shots. I believe that's his third this game. You know, the Wolverines, Isaiah, did a very nice job of closing out on Francisco Cruz. It was just that one extra pass. Hunsaker misses the three. It's a five-point lead for Wyoming right after Utah Valley had closed to within two after six straight free throws. Coming up on the four-minute mark. Washington gets Ben Aired off his feet. Ben came down into him. Ben Aired. Foul number four. Sixteen foul, by the way. And yeah, we'll see. Leonard Washington. Yeah, we praise Geddes Robinson so much for his pump fakes. That was a heck of a pump fake there. Yeah, he, he was so low on that pump fake. It was very easy for him to go up and, and draw the foul. That, that was incredible how low he got on that pump fake, enabling him to, to go back up for the shot. I think as we see the free throw here. One thing that, that I, Ben needs to make an adjustment on is that he's got called for fouls where he's jumped up in the air. You know, he has size, he has length. He doesn't need to be trying to jump up in the air. He just needs to make sure that he gets that vertical shot pressure that we've been talking about because anytime he gets in the air, he's coming down and he's fouling. Well, right now, Ben Aaron has a seat on the bench. Getting Robinson back into the game. Washington gives Wyoming a seven-point lead, just under four minutes left here in Orem, Utah. Yeah, Wyoming's gone back to this man defense, so they're switching up their defenses, trying to confuse the Wolverines. Hunsaker baseline drive. And a foul before he could get to the hole. That one's going to go against Luke Martinez. Be the eighth team foul. 348 left. Wyoming by seven. I'm Joe Luce, an anthropology student at UVU, and this is my classroom. At UVU, I'm sharpening my mind and my skills. Patty Garcia, a geology student at UVU, and this is Engaged Learning. At UVU, I'm learning by doing. Wyoming, 61% shooting in the second half. Utah Valley, just 31%. Utah Valley led at halftime by one, but Wyoming has outscored them here in the second half by eight. It's a 68-61 game. 3.48 left. Thanks for being with us tonight. Matt Peterson, along with myself, here at the UCC, myself, along with Jeff McCullough at the UCCU Center. Sorry, it's hard to add and read stats and talk at the same time, evidently. I know what you were saying. Um, you are the only one, partner. Thank you. This clock is going to be in, in Wyoming's favor. I think that we'll see them on the offensive end as we get a good view of Coach Larry Shiat right there. I think what we're going to see from them is trying to use that clock. They don't need to take any four shots. They're going to work the ball around the perimeter. They're going to take their time. And if they have a good shot, if they have a good opportunity, they're definitely going to take it. it Wolverine's critical here that they cannot give up any offensive rebound. No second shots 
in this in this uh, last three and a half minutes. Martinez for three. No. Hubbard with a rebound and a foul on Wyoming. Washington. It amazes me, Jim, as we're going to see the long shot there from Martinez. Nice job of holding boxing out there. Nice job of Alfonso Hubbard sealing off the weak side. It just amazes me how open they're still getting. It's amazing how open Francisco Cruz is getting on some of his shots and Luke Martinez. Well, Wyoming's overloading one side of the court and trying to get some plays off of that, but Wolverines have got to sure that up because they cannot give up those three-point shots. If they do, they're going to hope for a miss and hope for a defensive rebound. That was the best, the best scenario right there that the Wolverines could have asked for—a long miss and a defensive rebound going to the free throw line with no clock. Uh, excuse me, no time running off the clock. Wolverines have not scored a basket now in almost five minutes of action, but they do have ten straight free throws. See, now you're going to see. I know that it was just a five, five-point game. Now it's a three-point game. I think you're going to see Wyoming show a little bit more urgency because they're not going to be able to just sit back on their heels. So watch for a screen coming up to the top trying to get J.D. Luster involved. Three-point attempt outside, no good. Ball batted around. Wyoming. I wasn't expecting a shot that quick, but hey, it was a great look. Once again, another wide open three. A missed basket and a missed opportunity for the Wolverines to grab that defensive rebound. Three minutes left in this one. It's been a good one. Wyoming out of the Mountain West Conference. Get this overload. You got Cruz coming across the baseline. Got to account for him. Fourteen seconds on the shot clock. Here comes a high screen. Geddes Robinson's going to have to help out here. Alfonso Hubbard as well. Feed inside to Washington. Shot. Did not go down because of the foul on Keith Thompson. His fourth. Yeah, there's Francisco Cruz just creating offense, creating opportunities. A nice way of nice job of him getting into the paint. Just had the defense broken down. Leonard Washington did a nice job of flashing right underneath the basket. You see, he didn't even square up. He went up with his back to the rim. Each of these teams are excellent from the stripe. They've only missed one each so far tonight. Wyoming 20th in the nation in free throw shooting at 75% tonight. 92%. Oh, sorry. I guess the jinx works both ways. The jinx is on. It's a four point game with two and a half to play. Isaiah for three. Big shot. Very big shot. Not very good defense there, transition-wise, for Wyoming, and Isaiah makes him pay. You can see one shot can turn it, Jim. One shot can turn the momentum. Let's see how Wyoming responds. One point, Cowboy lead with two minutes. Martinez stolen away. Isaiah. Isaiah Williams, 23 points. The All-American starts to flex some muscles here in the second half. UVU back out in front with a minute 43 left. I thought, I mean, you see this rhythm jump shot here? I thought there was no way that was going in with that pressure from Luke Martinez. Look at that Scott. I mean, that was just an unbelievable shot from Isaiah. You could tell he was in rhythm. I thought on that last basket he was going to pull up for another rhythm three-point shot. But he did a great job of kind of doing a nice little ball fake here. You see J.A. Luster just getting a little bit off balance and Isaiah with the wonderful finish. It's incredible how, how fast and how quick a game can turn when momentum just goes in your favor. And that all started, mind you, with that defensive, the defensive block. I believe we couldn't see we were blocked by the official, but I believe it was Keith Thompson that blocked that ball to start the defense when uh, Luke Martinez was going up for a shot. Wolverines on a 15 to 6 run. We had talked about the runs earlier about Wyoming 
propensity to get in those long runs. Right now it's the Wolverines. And they lead it by one. Wolverines, by the way, have scored more points against Wyoming than any team this season. A lot more. A couple things that I'm going to look forward here. We're going to get Coach Hunsaker to call a 30-second timeout. Just coming off the timeout from Wyoming, we're going to get a timeout from Coach Hunsaker. Let's see if they stay in that zone. I mean, I think it's proved it's given them some good momentum. It's provided them with some good offense going the other way. They're going to have a smaller lineup in. The, the tallest player that the Wolverines are going to have is Keith Thompson in the game. So they're clearly trying. I think they will stay in that zone defense, getting smaller guards in there for the quickness and for the perimeter defense. The key for the defense is not to get too stretched. We're going to see a replay here of Isaiah. That, that almost looks like Isaiah pushed off to little, get separation. A little bit, but there's no way that's going to get called at the last. No way that's going to get called. Isaiah, 23 points tonight. Came in here averaging just under 14 a game. Well under his 18 points a game average from last year when he was named Honorable Mention All-America. And this guy right here in front of us is going to be the man, Francisco Cruz. Who's going to stop him? What type of play is he going to make? See the extra life that the Wolverines have. They're, they're moving. They're energizing this zone. Up top for three, Lester. No good. Wolverines nursing a one-point lead with a minute 15 left. No turnovers here. The clock is in your favor. You've got that one-point lead. I don't want to see him settle for those long shots. Remain aggressive. Keep going to the rim. Take a good shot when you have it. One minute. 12 seconds on the shot clock. We're going to get a high pick here. Someone's going to come up and set a pick for Holton. A big handoff. Hunsaker. Can't get it to go. Wyoming. 12 second differential. Shot clock and game clock. Defensive rebound is going to be key here. If we get a miss from Wyoming, defensive. Washington quickly scoring. And Wyoming leading. By one, 71-70. 34 and a half seconds left. So now, Utah Valley will have possession with the shot clock off. They can go for the last shot. And that's the problem with going small because they didn't have an interior defender in there. Their tallest guy, as we've said, was, was Keith Thompson. Yes, they has, had Gettys Robinson inside. But that was a, an easy play. It looked like there was a screen that was set from Adam Waddell to Spring Leonard Washington just coming up the lane and an easy turnaround finish at the rim for him. Isaiah Williams, 23. Keith Thompson, 13. Alfonso Hubbard, 10. Ben Ayer, 10. Holton Hunsaker, 9 points. Wolverines need to come the length of the floor. A basket will win it. Isaiah. Keith Thompson. Finger roll. And one. Yeah, they called an offensive foul. No. Yeah. You're right. Offensive foul. We got we got two officials. I'm not so sure they agree here. Yeah, they're, yeah. Gonna, they're calling an offensive foul. He charged. Yeah, that was. Ten point eight seconds left. Coach Dick Hunsaker out on the court. See, we're going to see here. You see Leonard Washington come over. The, the baseline replay that we had was the best, the best view there because that view 
Leonard Washington didn't take that charge right in his chest. He took it more on his left shoulder and left hip. This is the view that we're going to get the best angle of. You see where he takes it on the left shoulder. That's just a tough call for the officials to make. Keith Thompson is fouled out with 13 points. Yeah, that was uh, that was not a good possession for the Wolverines. That's what really put him in a hole to begin with. Because Isaiah got caught in the corner. They were frantic. They had to kick it out to Keith Thompson. They never got a chance to run their play. And what, what was wide open there, and I know that when we look back on it, we're going to see that, is that if Keith would have just pulled up a little bit short, he could have dumped it right off to Geddes Robinson for a wide open layup. But you got to give credit to Leonard Washington coming over, taking that charge. Now, 11 seconds left. Wolverines are going to foul immediately. Whoever gets the ball, they're going to put uh, they're going to put the the Wyoming player at the line. 10.8 seconds left. Wyoming. Leonard Washington will trigger in for the Cowboys. They lead by one. And a foul immediately. Keavi Enos reaches in and fouls Adam Waddell. Waddell, four of five from the free throw line tonight, eight points overall. You know, going back to that, I know we're, we've moved on in the game here. I mean, that's that's a tough call for the officials, but where he takes it on the shoulder like that and where he takes it on the hip, to me, that's more of a block than a charge. I mean, he was there. He was set, no doubt about that. But the fact that he took it on the shoulder and more on the hip and they get the charge, very unfortunate. But free throw line, one and one here. Adam Waddell, a lot of pressure on these free throws. Two-point lead for the Cowboys. 9.8 seconds left. Coach Dick Hunsaker wants his troops for a few words of strategy. So if he makes this one, it's a three-point game. Wolverines need a three to tie, obviously. If he misses it, probably that's what they're talking about. Do you go for two to tie? Do you go for the three to win it? Well, if he makes it, um, I think what you do is you get the best shot, the quickest shot that you can. You get it into the hands of either Holden or into Isaiah, and you try and get something. See, this is what I'm going at. I mean, he's set, no question, but look where he takes it. I mean, he takes it on the, he takes it on the shoulder. And to me, that, that's not a charge. Obviously, it was called a charge. Why is that not a charge? Sorry, that's a, well, I, I'm saying, I'm saying it's not a charge because he, he was not in position to take that straight off oh. because he took it more on the side. Now, they obviously called it a charge and goes in Wyoming's favor. Looking at the, looking at the time here, 10 seconds, Miss or make, I, I think what you do is you try and get the best shot that you can, and you try and get it going to the basket. There's going to be an opportunity to go to the rim. There's going to be an opportunity for a kick out. You just have to take the best shot that you can. Adam Waddell at the free throw line. Wyoming leading by two with 9.8 seconds left. Well, now we'll see what the strategy is. Into Hunsaker, having a little trouble with Luster. Forces up the three, won't go. Wyoming is going to get out of here. Well, clock stopped. Less than a second left. Coach Dick Hunsaker just been uh, lit up for a technical foul as well. That foul going to go against Hunsaker, who missed the shot. 73-70, Wyoming by three. Hunsaker missed the shot and then fouled as the Wyoming player was bringing the ball up court. Head coach Dick Hunsaker, Colton's dad, protesting enough to get himself uh, a technical foul. Luke Martinez buries that one. Wyoming is going to escape the UCCU Center with a victory. We're just working on what the final score is going to be at this point. 
75-70. Just less than a second to play. Wyoming will improve to 13 and two. Wolverines fall to seven and 10 and lose only their second game of the season at home. A tough place to play for everybody that comes in here. Well, credit both teams here. Obviously the Wolverines did a great job fighting back in the game. A couple tough calls there at the end. Wyoming was able to make some plays. Leonard Washington now, the player who was fouled. Well, this score is going to look a lot different than the game looked. Wolverines had a chance to tie it. But they end up losing by six, 76-70, Wyoming over Utah Valley. Seventy six seventy Wyoming with a six point lead. Second. Utah. Utah Valley. Had taken the lead 70 to 69 but Wyoming scores the final seven points to win it by six. Coach Dick Hunsaker uh, a final thought from you sir as we've only got uh, about a minute of airtime left. I thought we played our hearts out. I thought we really competed well. I thought we played to win the game. I liked our energy. I liked our fight. And uh, hope this, this is a game we get better from. Thanks, Coach. Thank Appreciate you. you dropping by. Coach Dick Hunsaker sees his Wolverines fall to 7-10. and 10. Wyoming improves to 13-2. and 2. Wyoming, uh, by the way, going to be hosting Idaho State on the 9th. Meanwhile, the Wolverines at home hosting Seattle on Saturday. Wow, what a, what a game, what an interesting finish. 76-70, Wyoming wins this one. This broadcast has been produced by students from the Digital Media Department here at Utah Valley University. This has been a copyrighted production of Utah Valley University and the UVU Sports Network. For Matt Peterson, I'm Jim McCullough saying good night from Orem, Utah. Come join the student section and cheer for the Mighty Wolverines. Mighty Athletic Wolverine League Sports Passes are now available. Your mall pass gets you tickets to every NCAA home game, free food at the tailgate parties, prizes at the games, and lots of new friends. Get more information on their Facebook page or by calling Campus Connection at 801-863-8797. Go UVU! If you're serious about going to college and getting a head start on the process, come get a feel for what university life is like. UVU Days are designed with you in mind. UVU Days are department-specific events held on Saturdays that will allow you to become a student for a day. These events are free and breakfast and lunch are served. For more information, dates, and times, please visit our website at www.uvu.edu forward slash future students. Come experience what UVU has to offer in your field of study. Well, I guess I really got green fever when, like, I found out how Utah Valley University can get me a great education. Are you here for zombies? This is green fever. Zombies meets down the hall, room 1023. <laughs> was born on the beach. So the coast inspires how we prepare everything from our crisp salads to our irresistible burritos. And with more fresh sauces and salsas to choose from, meals at Costa Vida are truly a custom experience. Costa Vida, the coast is calling.